Hi guys, I'm going to show you how I cover a patio with a thin set coating. We're using this stuff here. I made it a little too soupy. In case it was real watery like I did, don't worry. The cement will absorb it. Okay. Get these chairs out of here.
reposition you guys a little bit. I said I'm too water in the whole bottom. stuff here. Good squeeze you like this. More than worth the money. Positioning all. This little piece done as well now.
now I'm trying to lose it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to. A bucket too. All right, we're gonna have to pick it up on a march and try. Man, I am sweating bullets. Guys, I was sweating bullets, man. I am soaked. I lost nearly 10 pounds the last two days. I drive. I finished dri drywall on my ceiling last night. Let me see if I can turn this. I'll show you. The ceiling. See the ceiling? Now the uh, the blue drywall on the one side, that's mildew resistant. That's the only drywall I was able to get. I wasn't able I wasn't able to get anything else, but that's that's fine. Now what I have to do to the drywall is uh, I have to buy some joint compound and I have to fill in all the joints and I have to tape it. Then we're gonna give it a sponge finish. You know that's the fastest way, there's no dust. Um, now, as for that patio, I actually had enough of that mud where I was able to do my walkway over as well. Now, the kind of mud I use is um, tile thin set. That's actually what I use is the cheapest tile thin set you can buy. It's about eight ninety seven a bag. Um, I wouldn't recommend setting tile with that, but it's good for filling in, you know. You know, because you don't want to buy the expensive. The expensive is like $25, $38 a bag. $25 bucks a bag, $24 bucks a bag, $30. Some of them are even $50, $60 bucks a bag. You know, but um, that's what I... That's Whenever I coat my... I like, it's like I coated my driveway 20 years ago with a uh, tile of insect. You know, that's, um, it's a lot better than uh, cement top coat. It lasts a lot longer. It's a lot smoother. And, you know, the tensile strength, there's, it has a greater tensile strength. Uh, as for the cracks, is you can go over the cracks with uh, mesh tape. That's actually what I did on the patio. I went over the cracks with um, roofing mesh tape. It's about five, might even be six inches wide. You know, that way there... That acts as a barrier where the cracks of your structure aren't going to resonate to the uh, the top coating. It works every time. I, I stand behind that; it's 100% foolproof. You know that that'll last. It'll last for that'll last for maybe five years, and then I'll have to hit it again. So. Uh, yeah, it's about, it's about 95 degrees outside, guys. As a matter of fact, that's dry already out there. That's and when you when you make that, make it real liquidy. Don't make it like water. Make it just like a, a click, a click, a, a click harder than water. Let's put it that way. If you make it too watery, it'll be too watery. So it's it's got to be like ice cream, but like a watery ice cream. Like a watery milkshake. That's what it has to be like. You could even like get a sponge and dampen down a surface with a sponge, like you know, like fan the water out a little bit. Don't put too much water down. You know, if it's real hot outside, you can do that. But you see, see, I, I made that that last mix was real watery, and it absorbed real fast because it's it's real hot out there. It might might even be 100 degrees in my backyard. It's real hot. It's real bad. So I've been up since, um, probably since 11, 11 o'clock last night I've been up. And right now it's about uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I finished the drywall on my ceiling last night, like 2 o'clock in the morning. I, I think I did that up till about 5, 5.30. I, I finished around 5.30. Um, I took my dog for a walk. My hus took my husky for a walk. About two miles, I walked with her. Uh, I went out for a motorcycle ride. We ordered the pizza. After the pizza, I top coated the patio, and now I'm settling down.
that's a normal day for me guys by the way when I took the bike out turned all kind of heads man turned all kind of every single person I passed turned their head and said what the fuck is that coming down the road and that's why I'm holding on to that catch you guys later be safe